Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and I'm so glad that you're here. In today's video, we are going to be doing our March debt update. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep on watching. So I'm super excited to get into today's video because we have not done an official debt update since October of last year, which was almost six months ago. So I'm very excited to start making these a monthly video again because not only do you guys enjoy them, but it helps me to keep myself accountable and to track my numbers. So with all that being said, we'll go ahead and get into the debt updates. So I'm going to be using a different worksheet this year, and this is from The Budget Mom. It's from several years ago, so I don't think it's still available, but I really like the progress it has down here. So that's what I'm going to be using. I actually printed out several copies of the February debt payment plan. So I just cut it off up here, and then we're just gonna ignore this February down here because I don't like to waste paper. So with all that being said, get into the numbers. I'm going to go ahead and write down all my creditors, and we'll come back and get into the exact numbers. So starting with my Synchrony credit card, which has the smallest balance, I just use this to pay for my water heater. So currently the balance is $1,000. $345 and this is 0% interest until September of this year so September 2023 and the minimum payment on this is $50 and then we'll go ahead and get into the orders once I have all my numbers so. so next we have my Bank of America credit card and this is a new one to you guys I went through a balance transfer just so I could get another 0% interest rate so this used to be US Bank but now it's Bank of America and the balance on that one is $7,075 and this one has a 0% interest rate until October of next year so October 2024 and the minimum payment on that one is $75. So next we have Moella, which is my new student loan provider. I used to have Great Lakes, but since I got approved for the, um, the public service forgiveness program, um, they switched my loans over to a different provider. So I'm now under Moella and that balance is $31,202, so it has not changed. And this is a 0% balance until, I believe the COVID forbearance is up in August, if I'm correct. It changes every time I look. So that is 0% interest and 0% or $0 minimum payment for now. And then last but not least, we have my mortgage, which is through First United Bank. And the current balance on that one is $101,434. And the interest rate is 3.25%. And the minimum payment is around $617. And those are all of my debts. So we will total these down here. So starting with my minimum payments, we have 50 plus 75 plus 617. So my minimum payments total $742. And then to get my total debt balance, we will take 1345 plus 775 plus 31202 plus 101434. So my new total debt balance as of March is $141,056. So for right now, I wanna skip past this middle part, but I'm definitely going to get into my monthly debt progress and my overall debt progress. So we'll move this up. So under last month's total debt balance, I'm actually going to put the debt balance from when we last did my um, debt update, which was in October of 2022. And that balance was $142,059. $142,059. 
And then this month's total debt balance is the $141,056. So to get my total debt monthly progress, we're going to subtract the 142.59 from 141.56. So since October of last year, I have been able to pay off $1,000, $1,003 worth of debt. And then to get my total debt monthly progress, this says C, but we're going to do the total debt monthly progress in dollars and divide it by this top number. So 1,003 divided by 142.59 multiplied by 100. So that is going to be 0.7%. And then to get into my overall debt progress, the total debt I started with, I'm going to do the number in my original debt confession, and that was back in October of 2021, so almost a year and a half ago, and that balance was $144,753. And some of my debts have changed since then, but still debt nonetheless. And then we will copy this total debt, this new total debt balance up here. So 141.56. And then we'll subtract these two to get our overall debt progress in dollars. So Wow, so, so far we have been able to pay off $3,697. So that is pretty impressive um, considering that I've had different goals along the way. Last year, my main goal was to try and fully fund my Roth IRA, which we did do, but this year I'm really going to get into savings and paying off debt. So this number will definitely increase later this year, but for now I am very happy and grateful that I've been able to pay off as much as I have. So $3,697 so far. And then to get my percentage, we'll do this number divided by my total debt started with. So 144,753, multiply that by 100. So, so far we have been able to pay off 2.6% of my debt. So that is everything I have for my March debt update. If you enjoy this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.